we're doing a different kind of trebuchet rather than just your standard pivot point. We're doing a floating arm, so the arm actually free falls down, and so that that it's actually a lot more efficient than a standard trebuchet. So um, our competition is open to like different design innovations like that. This used to be a big military technology during sieges on castles and things like that. So um, it's a smaller version, but it's definitely something we can you know learn from from the past, see how they did it, and um, implement today. And you can only build counterweights up to 300 pounds. So the most efficient way we found is using concrete. It's heavy, and we make circular forms out of uh, cardboard, and we pour the concrete into that, and then uh, we make our weights 50 pounds each. So basically, we just put them in, in the forms, wait wait till they cure, and then we take them out, and, and that's when we can uh, test launch it. Our trebuchet is not big enough to launch a pumpkin, so we're launching cantaloupes, which are four pound cantaloupes. You load them in the sling. Uh, last year we launched about 300 feet, so uh, they go a good distance. You gotta have a big field to launch these. So <laughs> you can't just go out and test fire anywhere, any day you want. You get four fires for longest distance, so it's basically building a reliable machine that can also throw a far distance. The biggest thing about this is, is we're a group of engineers from all different types of backgrounds. So we have mechanical engineers, we have civil engineers, we have industrial, computer engineers, the whole range. So building something like this doesn't necessarily feed into one of those fields, but it does give good hands-on practice into designing and then producing a product.